for corner kick it is. Packed goal now. Two number fives together, Riddle and McAllister. Taken away by Scott, and here's Templeton now in the break. He has Sludden and Walker with him in attack. Still Templeton. Taken away by Smith, but straight back to Templeton. Now Sludden. Trying to make a gap for the shot. Brilliant goalkeeping. An outstanding save once again from Ian Westwater. There's no question about it. Confirm that all the fact that they're on level terms to this man Ian Westwater. Played on by Scott. Here's Holt. Now Beedy. Mark Smith. Going up against Jim Hughes once again. Getting it, going inside. There's a chance. The opening goal is Ross Jack for the Furman. A spark of inspiration from the Furman and from Mark Smith in particular. And Air United go a goal behind. Ross Jack, the scorer. Well, this is magnificent play from Mark Smith. He's been well pleased all afternoon by Jim Hughes. This time checking inside, and that's a magnificent ball inside. The dying error from Jack, and Watson has no chance at all for air. Here's Steve Evans. That's a bad foul by John Holt. Now, he's been booked already, and John Holt is in serious trouble. He's going to be ordered off. John Holt, the former Dundee United player, full of experience, really should have known better. And that foul committed. A moment of rashness there, the challenge, a clear foul, having been booked already. It's a red card for John Holt. A very sad sight for the Berlin fans. Off goes Holt. The Furman are reduced to 10 men. The reorganization being carried out by Craig Robertson in midfield. And here are given an even greater opportunity of going back into the play. Here's John Sludden with a chance. Touched in by Walker. That's the equalizer for Air United. A disaster for the Furman defense. 22 minutes into the second half. Just as John Holt is ordered off, Tommy Walker puts Air United back on level 10. Well, it looked as though the opportunity was falling to John Slutton. He was the man trying to set up a shooting chance, then tried a shot past the Walker. It didn't come off. A great mix-up in the Berman defence. A top off from Walker, and we're back on level 10. Tackled by Craig Robertson, and the throw goes to Air. And there's no mistake here, the major shot is definitely on the cards. Here's Henry Templeton. Across the far side to Scott. And a fine effort from Rod Scott. Look at the frustration there. He saw the chance, he had room to set up the shot, hit that with a lot of power. Westwater on the six-yard line, relieved to see it over the top. That's played through the middle, but... Well won by Riddle, and it's Craig Robertson now releasing Mark Smith with a splendid pass. He's in behind Hughes, waiting for support to arrive in the middle. It's still Smith. Queuing up in the air defence, it was Ross Scott who was accurate with that clearing header, conceding the corner kick. And that's perhaps an area where the Furman suffered from having one man less than air. Couldn't get men into the box quickly enough to support that great move involving Craig Robertson and Mark Smith. That's BD. And a golden opportunity wasted by Gary Riddle. Look at the disappointment. And the 
Firm and want to make a substitution. They're going to bring off Stuart Feedy. He's taken a knock. There's Feedy limping off. The replacement. Steve Morrison going on, number 14. Ten man in Firmland lineup. Now trying to find a way through the air defence in the closing minutes. Over away by McAllister. With a chance for Templeton. Slodden is up in the middle. Walker getting up on terms also. Bill Templeton going forward. Going all the way himself and it's forced back by Kirkwood to Westwater. I believe Kirkwood is living dangerously there. Here's Steve Morrison for the tournament. Three minutes left. Fine dummy by Smith. A layoff by Jack. Here's Morrison. Now Mark Smith. He made the opening goal for the Fernand. Again with a deep cross and a vital header to safety by Ian McAllister. Plus Jack is coming in in the far post. Well, you have to hand it to the Fernand. They're making a major push despite being reduced to ten men. Rory McCarthy is up again. The skipper. Well, I, can, I reckon that the defending legs will be... Full cool stretch now, and a glancing header by Mark Smith, straight into the arms of Watson. Well, Mark Smith's not the kind of player you expect to get on the end of a corner kick, but a good header that. Templeton wins it, and Kirkwood reacts angrily. There's a bit of trouble on here as Gary Riddle becomes involved. Billy Kirkwood exchanging angry words with Templeton, who pulled him down. Referee Roy will have to be using all his experience to keep things under control in these ferocious closing minutes. Free kick being taken by Steve Morrison. Oh, the far post. And another chance in the air goes a begging. It was Nori McCarthy once more who got his head to the ball all right but couldn't get it beyond God watching. Well, that could be the final whistle, yes! That's the end of what has been a magnificent cup tie. And you have to thank Air United in particular for that. The Air fans salute their heroes. They performed superbly throughout the match. They went behind to an excellent goal from Ross Jack heading in a Mark Smith cross. They found the courage and determination to come back. Equalised to Tommy Walker. The replay will be in Somerset Park, and that's a prospect which the Fernland certainly will not relish. The Fernland won, Air United won. Well, they give you impressions in the match. Well, I think it was a tremendous cup tie. I think it lived up to what everyone said. Two extrovert managers with two extrovert teams. And But I think over the, the 90 minutes, we possibly were the better side. And when it went down to 10 men for the Fernland, I thought well, if I got the equaliser, I'd go on and win it. And unfortunately, or fortunately, their goalkeeper had a tremendous game, as our own did. It was end-to-end -end stuff. It was great. One of the best cup ties I've taken part in 20-odd years of management. You are two very good individual players. What can you tell us about men like uh, Templeton and Cowell? Well, I think that Henry Templeton's really different class. I think that he's been really the makings of the side. We had a great side, a good side, I should say, and I think it's becoming a great side. He's like Baird's way of Liverpool. You can't pin him down. And Fairman give him the credit to pick him up. But he just... He's such a good player. I mean, I could play him at sweeper, and they might do that in the replay. They're a very good game, the replay. Well, the replay, of course, will that be your first all-ticket match at here for a while, do you think? No, I won't say it'll be all-ticket, but there'll be a big crowd. Be, we're carrying a big support, as you can see today, because I've said all along, if, even if I wasn't the manager here, I would pay to go and see the present side. It's not over by any means. There's a long battle ahead, because in firm when they all battle, and sometimes, you know, you think it's over and done with, because we're a young side. Maybe are celebrating at the moment. We'll let them have their drink now after the game that we'll get down to. We know it's a hard game, but now they're back in their own pitch. I mean, there are not many teams beat us there. 